Hey guys, Miles here with Tactile Hive with a uh, quick drill for you that is going to help you with moving and shooting. If uh, you've been doing a lot of moving and shooting, maybe it's competition or just you know shooting, casually training on your own, you may have noticed that one of the common mistakes people make because they're not getting you know, when they're not getting their shots on target. Let's say let's say one shot hits here, another shot hits here, another shot's over here, is that they're actually not really focused on what they're looking at with their vision, right? So if you're shooting paper. The problem is you don't really get that immediate feedback and you only know that you're making certain mistakes after you look at the targets and so you don't get that real time feedback. One of the reasons I kind of started doing this drill, this exercise more, was that it gives me immediate feedback and I can, can begin to correct on the next target. And so what do I mean? I like to move and shoot using a six plate rack, right? Where immediately I know if I missed a target, that might mean I wasn't focused on the target, waiting for my sights to settle. One of the other reasons, that just kind of going back to what I was talking about, people missing, they're not paying attention to their sights. Sometimes they might think that their, their sights are on target and then they lose focus. Maybe they're looking at another target or maybe they're not really paying attention to the target. And what happens is, let's say I was taking two shots. If I took a shot here, okay, center, let's say you, you're, you're my target, I take one shot, and then I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm good. I can take another shot and just keep moving, right? But you need to pay attention on each shot, especially when you're moving. So if this was my sight, I take one shot, I'm moving. I would need to see my sight go down again, right on top of you, and then take another shot. A lot of people, they might land that first shot. So here's center mass. If someone was moving left to right, they take the shot here. If they're not looking at the sight the next time, they might shoot over here or miss the target. And it's because they do this, bam. And now I'm moving and now the sights are over here and I take the shot there, okay? Because it's, it's maybe a lack of discipline or just distraction or they're trying to shoot so fast that they forget to aim or make sure that that sights are on target or the red dot is on target for the second shot. So if you shoot a six plate rack or similar, you get immediate feedback and you know if you hit the target or not. And also it forces you to pay attention because one of the things that I've noticed, especially with me, if I shoot and that plate doesn't go down, it pisses me off, right? Where, so immediately I'm, I'll, I will course correct. Whereas if I'm shooting paper, again, I don't know until I go back, right? So I like to make those corrections as I'm moving. So there's a plate rack here about, uh, you can use, you know, you can use any distance you want, but this is about uh, seven, eight yards away. And all you'd have to do as you're learning this, this is just an exercise. You're not going to be shooting like, you know, like this. It's not going to be a six plate rack. This is not practical. It's an exercise to build your moving and shooting skill set, right? Also work on your vision, looking at the next target. Okay, if you watch one of our previous videos where we talk about transitions, you always lead with your eyes. And all you're gonna do is just start off slow. Remember, you're not going to, you know, in a real altercation, in self-defense situation, yes, you're not gonna be shooting like this. You might as well just run to cover or something like that, right? But it is more of an exercise, again, just to build a skill set. Okay, so you can start off really slow. You could move at a snail's pace if you want to. And then as you get uh, more familiar with it and comfortable, then speed it up. The idea here is you're getting immediate feedback. All right, so this is how it looks. 